Welcome back to our Discovering Brigham series. I'm Dr. Robert Higgins, president of Brigham and Women's Hospital. In this episode, we'll be exploring the work of experts in cardiovascular medicine. And we'll start this conversation with a discussion of the innovative research being done on heart failure. I'm joined today by Dr. John Keeney, Chief of Cardiovascular Medicine and Executive Director of the Heart and Vascular Center. Dr. Keeney, more than 7 million Americans are currently living with heart failure, making it among the most prevalent chronic conditions in the United States and around the world. Can you tell us a little bit about how the Brigham researchers are working to improve the care of patients with heart failure? Absolutely. It turns out that the Brigham has about a 25-year history in heart failure research. More recently, there's been a shift to look at patients who have uh, other types of heart failure and to bring other drugs on board that may actually further improve the outcomes of patients. So uh, approximately 10 years ago, Dr. Scott Solomon, one of our senior investigators and his colleagues, began to investigate how we might improve the treatment for patients with heart failure and reduce ejection fraction where the heart's not working normally. And they were able to use a combination medication that proved superior to the current uh, drugs that we have. In fact, it added to their effectiveness. And that was a, a major finding in one of the largest studies that had been done at that time. Um, they've since started to look at uh, other types of heart failure, uh, particularly heart failure where the ejection fraction or the function of the heart is not as diminished, which actually represents a sizable population of patients. Well, thank you for that insightful and informative answer. I understand you're uh, joined today by a cardiovascular colleague in medicine. Would you please introduce them and their important work on the new treatments in heart failure? Absolutely. So we're joined today by one of our junior faculty members, Dr. Mathaya Vadoganathan, who's an instructor in medicine at Harvard Medical School. He's in his fourth year on the faculty. And he's made some very important contributions in heart failure research. Thank you for having me. Maybe you can describe some of the treatments that are being tested and evaluated in uh, the laboratory and in the clinic. So as Dr. Keeney mentioned, now more than half of individuals with heart failure have a preserved or relatively preserved ejection fraction, a population that has been very difficult to manage in clinical practice and where drug development has uh, been fairly challenging. So under the leadership of Dr. Solomon, we undertook a large-scale trial called the DELIVER trial, which was actually the largest trial of this population to date. And that showed unequivocally that these therapies can not only help people feel better and function better, but also keeps them out of the hospital and doing well long-term. And so really represents a historic advance, a first therapy that helps patients across a broad range of heart failure, and hopefully can be implemented at scale and reach the over 60 million people worldwide living with heart failure today. Great, that's exciting work. There's also been some recent studies that have shown that individuals from different backgrounds do not always get equal access to this extraordinary care. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the discoveries affecting patients of all backgrounds and how we can enhance access for those therapies. So I could comment a little bit about that. Um, the cardiovascular division, uh, under the direction of Dr. Solomon and uh, Dr. Vadoganathan, have decided to address a, a really critical problem, which is taking the information we have about very effective therapies and how can we get people to follow them across all backgrounds in order to really get the benefit that we know would normally be there. And I would ask uh, Dr. Vaduganathan to talk a little bit about the center that he's setting up. It is estimated that it takes approximately 17 years for a novel therapy to ultimately be disseminated and implemented in practice. And so this center, Center for Cardiometabolic Implementation Science, attempts to accelerate that process and more importantly, do so in an equitable manner and develop evidence-based strategies in which we can identify solutions within Brigham Health to improve the adoption of equitable care amongst patients 
with cardiovascular diseases, and hopefully develop generalizable solutions that could be applied across health systems in the U.S. and worldwide. Great. Well, I appreciate your sharing this great insight, and we look forward to further improvements in heart failure therapies in the future. So thanks so much for sharing this. Thank you for joining our conversation, highlighting important and innovative research ongoing in the Division of Cardiovascular Medicine. In addition to the work discussed today, our cardiovascular medicine research teams are conducting a vast number of other projects addressing diseases impacting our patients. To learn more, please visit our website, Discover Brigham. <music>